Hey, what's going on guys? MTS here, and uh, I wanted to talk about the new Tartaglia banner. They just officially released it. It's an interesting one, and uh, I want to bring up a couple different things. I want to talk about weapons for the characters on this banner. Uh, I want to talk about um, the other banner that's currently available, the Venti banner, because this is a pretty big decision, and uh, I want to just plant a couple seeds. With these videos, it is really opinionated. Uh, you know, I, I can't help but have my opinions, but also you need to really look at yourself and what you need. Do you need a support character that is arguably one of the best in the game? Are you looking for another DPS? Do you already maybe have some of these banner characters and you're looking for constellations? Are you looking for the thickest vampire nun you've ever seen and that's all that matters? Then you're going to have your answer pretty quickly here. But I want to give you my thoughts on a couple of these different characters and, and what I would do. You know, if I had a few hundred primo gems to spend. Because we all know that no one has any primo gems in this game. But before I get into that, a quick word from a sponsor. This video is sponsored by Dungeon Fighter Online. Do you like fighting games? Do you want some retro style 2D beat em up action? Then Dungeon Fighter Online is for you. There are tons of enemies to fight, bosses to slay, and over 170 classes to choose from. Every class is unique, but you also have the option to customize your skills, customize your outfits, customize your weapons, customize your customization, baby! You can grind the game solo. You can find yourself a squad and play as a team. And there are flexible difficulty levels as well as multiple end game experiences for you to enjoy. There's boss battles. There's 700 million people that you can join up with right now. So it's time to become a legend. It's time to play the legend Dungeon Fighter Online and click the link down below. Right now is the perfect time to jump into Dungeon Fighter Online because they're celebrating their 6th anniversary. They've had events all month and they've got more coming in just a few days. You have a chance to get some epic weapons as well as a ton of valuable materials to get your account started. And just a few days ago they did a big update for the Thief class as well as adding new leveling events for your character. So if you're a new player or a returning player, this is the ultimate time to reap those benefits. Click the link down below, download Dungeon Fighter Online today, and get ready to dodge, because some of these bosses are insane, and they've got some mechanics that are going to mess you up if you're not careful. Thank you so much for sponsoring this video, and let's get back into the content. Alright, so I'm going to try and give you this pretty quick and dirty. Tartaglia is interesting because he is one of the only um, Hydro main DPS. Uh, a lot of people consider Xing Cho a support, a lot of people call Mona a support, and, uh, and Tartaglia is someone you put on the field to do the majority of your damage. Also is a water character, so in any of the fire domains, uh, if you can start setting up some Vaporize with some Pyro characters, definitely some major potential for Tartaglia to kick some butt. Now, Tartaglia uses a bow. He actually does not use a spear. Kind of looks like he's using a spear or something. This is a bow character, and uh, I wanted to talk about that because we've got Tartaglia here, and we've got Fischl. And, uh, you know, on this banner, we've got Venti. We're going to get into this banner in a second, but there are multiple bow characters here. And uh, if you guys are playing the game right now, you might know that you can get the Windbloom Ode. Now, Windbloom Ode, I'm not going to say this is the best thing for um, Tartaglia. I, I really don't think this is going to be the best bow for him. Uh, the Rust, something like this one here where you're getting a bunch of normal attack damage, is probably better, okay? But um, this is something that you're going to have to get from the gotcha system, and it's not guaranteed. The Stringless, this is really good on Venti, it's good on, on Fischl, it, you know, it's a really good bow. Again, you're not guaranteed, but you do have a guarantee right now to get Windbloom Ode, so at least you have an option, which I think is pretty cool considering how many bow characters are available on these banners overall, Okay. So we've got the wind blue mode, but the big thing here is you got to look at the four stars. You got to look at the four stars. You got to look at the five star. And uh, I want to kind of rapid fire go through all of this because I have some thoughts. So let's start with the, the Tartaglia banner. Tartaglia, again, water character, good DPS. I personally haven't built him and it's hard for me to hype him up. I don't want to call him the best. I don't want to call him bad. But what I would recommend you do with this character is Look at some videos of him and look at his playstyle because he's kind of interesting. You pop your ability, you get these little daggers, you dash around for 20, 30 seconds, and then you swap. And it, it might not be for everyone his playstyle. It might look like the most fun thing ever. But I don't want to bait you and pretend I know everything about Tartaglia when I don't. I've never built Tartaglia myself. So definitely do your research on him. But I want to give you some insight on these four stars. 
So Barbara is a healer. Everyone already has Barbara. So instantly, some of you might be like, well, I don't want more of her. Like, I don't really want more. And I feel like she's one of those support characters where, you know, she is a healer and she's fine. She doesn't really do much damage. And I think she's pretty lackluster overall. If you get a bunch of constellations and you get the sixth one, cool. She can revive you if you die. But I think that healers are overwhelming, or sorry, underwhelming. Um, and there's a lot of better characters out there, like a Bennett, who if I'm going to have a healer, I would rather have Bennett. Or I would rather have Diona. I think she's she's better than her as well. I think Barbara's one of the weaker healers overall. Now, Fischl is interesting because Fischl at the start of the game was the best character. Everyone loved Fischl. She was really, really, uh, really good. She was like one of the first characters I ever built. And uh, I love Fischl, but Electro isn't amazing. Uh, Electro is one of the worst elements in the game right now. Overall, if you get into the end game, it doesn't mean it's like unusable or anything, but I think Electro needs a buff. And so Fischl being Electro, it already makes me like, hey, you know, how good is she? But that being said, if they ever buff it, She's going to be cracked. And uh, they did do a buff to Geo. So Electro might not be far away. And then all of a sudden, you've got Fischl, one of the uh, the coolest supports in the game. Even if they don't buff it, if you get a bunch of constellations on Fischl, I think she pairs really nicely with Tartaglia. And that's pretty cool. And now Rosaria. Smoking hot. That's all that matters. All right, guys. End of the video. Go get this banner. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, Rosaria is interesting because she is cryo. Uh, so you could pair this up and get some nice freezing going, Tartaglia and uh, and Rosaria. She can actually repeatedly apply Cryo, which I think is really cool, because she can throw it on the field passively, like over time, freeze stuff, while Tartaglia is wailing on it. On top of that, Rosaria does seem to have the potential of being a decent DPS. So if you were not to get Tartaglia, if you got really unlucky, you didn't get Tartaglia, if you have this little cast of characters here, it might be interesting to see what Rosaria can do as a main DPS. Now, it looks like she does cryo damage with a lot of physical damage built in, and so it would actually work very nicely with Fischl, and that's something you need to consider. You might not get Tartaglia, and are you happy with these four stars, okay? Now, I want to jump over to this other banner. Now, again, we've got this, the, uh, the Windbloom Ode, which I think is a pretty good bow for Venti. If you don't have the stringless, Windbloom Ode would be a great choice for Venti overall, and you would have a nice bow for arguably the best support in the game. And that's why I want to say, you know, I wanted to make this video, is if you're not sure what to do, I have a hard time not recommending Venti. He is that good. In my opinion, I think Venti is the best character in the game. He almost trivializes content. He is so good. And so that might not be fun for you. You suck everything up like a black hole and you destroy it. You just absolutely stomp it. And for some people, that's amazing. For some people, maybe it's boring, but he is arguably the best. And so missing out on him, you know, the last time we saw him was six months. Are you okay with letting that potential opportunity go by? Um, now, the other thing, though, is Razor is a very, very good DPS character. Um, you know, he might fall off a little bit when you start getting into Melt and Vaporize and these different elemental combinations but again if they ever buff electro razor is going to be cracked uh, i really like razor overall i think sucrose has some major potential and then noel i don't love her i know people that absolutely are obsessed with her but i don't love her again with this cast of four star characters you know it would be fine it would be fine it would be fine but these are not absolute god tier supports okay they are not bennett they are not Xing Cho. They are not Diona. You know, Diona, Xing Cho, Bennett. These characters are absolute game changing four stars in comparison, in my opinion. I think that these four stars are so much better in so many situations that, um, yeah, Sucrose is fine, and Fischl is fine, and Barbara is fine, but they're not as good as these ones in almost any piece of content in the game. And I know. That these characters aren't on the banner, but that's something you need to consider is do you care about those five stars enough to not start wishing on these ones? If you see a banner with characters like this and characters like Bennett, you know, these characters are almost like a five star. They're that good. And so that is another thing you need to consider is are the four stars on the banner worth it? Because you're getting those more than, the, you know, anything. So really quick recap. Do you need a water DPS? And do you maybe have some characters that are already going to work with them? 
Do you maybe have a five star bow? Then you might want to consider going on this banner to do a bunch of damage with Tartaglia and that's cool. But you need to consider these characters as well. Again, Rosaria is untested, she doesn't exist yet, so it's a little bit hard to give a full opinion of that, but there are some, uh, you know, like, leaks online if you really want to see that. Fischl, again, I hope Electro gets buffed, but she is a good support, and Barbara is underwhelming. If we go into the other one here, Venti, arguably the best character in the game for most content. Uh, you can throw him into the Spiral Abyss, and he makes it three times easier, okay? He is that good that I would say, screw the four stars, don't even look at him, just close your eyes and wish and hope you get it, okay? And um, if you do happen to get these four stars, again, Razor, really solid DPS, I hope they buff Electro, but he does mostly physical damage, and so he's kind of safe no matter what. Sucrose can be a really good support, kind of like a little mini Venti if you get some of those constellations, um, but I feel like Animo supports... They're not, like, amazing unless they're venti. And uh, Noelle is fine, but she's not amazing. Look at the wind blue mode. Look at the weapons you have. Look at the characters in the banners and decide. Do you want a god tier support? Or do you want a god tier babe that looks like a nun? <laughs> I know what I'm getting. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't even know if I helped. I just want to at least plant the seed and talk. I think that, that honestly, Venti, like, trumps everything. Like, I think no matter what, Venti is just the better pick. Like, I, I think you'd have to have uh, Bennett on here and Xingqiu, Rosaria, and Tartaglia to turn down Bennett. That's how good I think Bennett is. But that's just me. That's just, a, that's just my thoughts. And, uh, you know, choose who looks fun to you. Because at the end of the day, you can use Shangling, you can use... A, a rusty nail and a wet banana for weapons and you can probably beat most of the content because once you level up far enough uh you can beat all the content in the game so have fun while you're doing it get flashy make sure that you know the characters you're losing you're using look smoke and hot to you because at the end of the day you know you want to run around with this skinny looking guy and he's like hey i'm d luke i'm depressed or do you want to run around with you know or something like that or something like or something like that right use your brain thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you soon click the link down below to download dungeon fighter okay and i'll see you soon